Merry Christmas, everyone, for those celebrating, and Happy New Year. May 2022 bring you everything that you desire. Thanks so much. Okay, so let me just show you my colour palette. It's a classic Christmas colour palette. I've managed to get some 24 karat gold deco art, so I'm excited to use that. Then obviously some white, some silver, some red and some green. So I'm excited. Let's see what we can create. Okay, so I am using a 40 centimetre round canvas. And because it's Christmas and I celebrate Christmas, I don't know if anybody uh, else does that's watching. But if you do, happy Christmas. I hope you have a great one. And for those of you that don't, I just wanted to do something a bit fun um, and create my own Christmas bauble. So um, I'm using some classic colours. I'm going to layer out the red and um, take it from there. And I think what I'm going to do today is something a little bit different to what I normally do. And I'm going to use the swipe technique. And what I'm going to try and do by using the swipe technique is to create a bit of movement. Um, I'm not worried about creating any cells with this. I don't have any cell activator. Um, I do sometimes get cells when I mix my brands of paint. But for me, this is just about having a bit of fun uh, before Christmas, before the chaos starts, and before everyone gets to do whatever they want to do around this holiday season. So I'm just creating um, a fun Christmas bauble. Okay, so I'm going to speed this bit up for you. Um, so all I'm doing is I'm layering the paints one after the other. You'll see that it's quite fluid, so I've got some movement, but not so fluid for the consistency that I use for my Dutch pours. Um, okay, so I've got the red and the silver down. I think I'm now going to do the green. So just literally covering the whole canvas in these colours. First time that I'm going to be using the 24 karat gold, so that would be really interesting for me. I've not been able to get it before here in the UK. Um... But yeah, maybe that's my Christmas present to myself. I managed to get it. So I'm I'm looking forward to using that and seeing how it turns out. Okay, so I'm just tipping um, or stretching the, the paints out on the canvas. I'm just going to put a little bit of white along there. Okay. And I will put some gold afterwards and then all I'm going to do is using some paper towel I'm going to just swipe across and guys this is just a bit of fun for me um for Christmas I'm going to just swipe across see what kind of design that I can get I want to try and create a bit of movement I want to look at the composition and the perspective of the piece um I don't think I'm going to get any cells or that's not my intention anyway if I get some then that's a bonus. But all I want to do is just take some of these basic colours and swipe them into each other just to see what kind of creation I can make. Um, sometimes it's about experimenting and just seeing where it takes you. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I have this idea in my head about what I want to create and how it's going to look. And sometimes it just turns out completely different. And that's okay because that's what, well, that's what I think art and being creative is all about. Just seeing where it takes you and what you can, what you can create. And always, I think I've said this before, in fact, I think I said it in my last couple of videos. Whenever there's a failure, it's always a lesson. And as we continue on our creative path and our creative journey um, on making what we want to make, we always learn something from that piece. So... Um, that's just my little bit of advice. Okay, so I've laid some more of the colours just at the top there. And I'm swiping down using a paper towel. Um, I'm just going to go across the, the round canvas um, in no particular motion or direction. I'm just seeing what kind of fun I can create by mixing some of these colours. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the design to get the design and the creation looking how I'd like it to look. So I'm just going to have a bit of fun here with swiping. It's not an, a usual technique that I am used to. So this is a learning curve for me as well. 
And what I'm noticing is the gold is a lot thicker. Um, I haven't got all my colours the same um, consistency or fluidity. So that may cause me a problem with that gold. I, I think that may slip or, or not be as fluid as the others. But I've never used that um, 24 karat gold before. But hey, let's, um, let's do a little bit of tilting. I can see just a block of paint there. So I'm going to tilt this to a design that I, I like. So what I'll say about tilting is, and something that, you know, this is what I've learned and the advice that I've had, is you tilt as much as you want until you create the design that you want on that canvas. Um, look at the composition and have a look at that overall design and you'll know when to stop. There is that danger of wanting to go too far, but you'll, you'll generally know when you want to stop because you'll look at that design and go, yes, this is the one, this is the one that I'm happy with. So I'm just tilting each way and touching up the edges and I think I'm happy with this. So let's see a close up version. Okay, so here we go. Um, I really do like the colours. That gold is so, it's so special actually. I, I've never used that gold before. Um, the green, you know, I love green. I'm a fan of green. I do like how it goes into that very vibrant red. I don't know which way round I'm going to have it yet. Um, as I said, there's not there's not any cells that I've created, but I've managed to to blend and mix some of those colours. So yeah, I'm happy with this as a Christmas bauble, um, and I had fun, and that's what it's about, right? So um, yeah, I'm really happy. I'd love to know what you think. Let's have a close up now of the dried version. You can see how shiny the um, the gold makes this whole piece. And I don't know if you can see it, but when you look at it from different angles, that gold shimmers underneath and that's really special. So I'm happy with this as my uh, as my Christmas bauble and I really, really hope you like it too. Let me know what you think. If you celebrate Christmas, have a very, very happy Christmas. Thank you so much to everybody for supporting me throughout 2021. And I hope 2022 brings you health, happiness, success and everything that you desire.